Okay, the number one chart, the new chart, and it's about Bitcoin market stages. It's my favorite chart after stock to flow because it's very simple, intuitive, and useful. So based on one variable, it's an on-chain variable, and it's also based on a very simple if-then rule. So it's not a prediction or a valuation like stock to flow but it's detection, recognition, just detection of the stage or phase, if you will, of the market. And there can be quite some volatility in all the stages. So it's just a detection. Now the market move moves in cycles, always. It's bull markets, bear markets. It's like spring and summer and autumn and winter. Um, and much has to do with psychology. So there can be FOMO, there can be greed, and there can be fear and capitulation. So it's very useful to know in which stage you are, because uh, your emotion, your psychology can tell something different. It can feel different. And that's especially true, for example, when a bull market ends, uh, when the green ends and the yellow starts. And you're still in this this FOMO state of mind, uh, but but the market uh, tells you something different. So it's very nice to have some objective measure. And the same is true, by the way, when um, a bear market turns into an early bull market, the blue, where we are right now, because uh, you're still thinking, oh, it, it goes further. You're still in the bear state of mind, but uh, the market fundamentals tell something differently so the stages are four stages um, so the first stage is, a, is the early bull market then the second stage is the late bull market the third stage is the early bear market and the fourth stage the last stage is the late bear market we're now starting a new cycle uh, so we're now in a early bull market in my opinion okay guys this is a new chart and um, I even doubted if I could I would share it with you um, because it's yeah sort of my favorite as I said and I use it quite a lot um, so well tell me what you think and um, we might do another video about this one Bitcoin on chain analyst plan B believes that a new Bitcoin bull cycle is beginning and has made a fresh prediction for the Bitcoin price during the upcoming having plan B is a Dutch heritage anonymous analyst who has over 25 years of experience in institutional investing in financial markets. He is known for creating the Bitcoin stock-to-flow model in 2019, which uses scarcity and the Bitcoin having to measure the value of Bitcoin. Plan B's pricing model is known for its incredible accuracy and accurate Twitter predictions, which have earned him a large following on Twitter. Plan B recently introduced a new chart, his favorite after the stock-to-flow model, called the Bitcoin Market Stages Chart. This chart helps to identify the four stages of the market cycle, early bull market, late bull market, early bear market, and late bear market. With the help of this chart, traders can better understand their emotions and psychology, which play a significant role in trading. At the end of the video, Plan B speaks on his predictions for the Bitcoin price leading up to the halving, which is just over a year away. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to drop your comment and observations in the comment section below. Thanks and enjoy the video. So, originally, this model was published in 2019. This was the formula. So you just enter the stock-to-flow ratio and it gives you the Bitcoin value. Notice this is the Bitcoin price, right? It's not the market value. You could, you could make it into a market value as well. And I published both the market value and, and this formula in the original article. Um, we got into a whole discussion about uh, econometrics, uh, actually, um, and, and uh, it, it was about autocorrelation or serial correlation, as it's also called. So this dots represent the error. So if the Bitcoin price is above the model value, it's above one. If it's exactly, if the price is exactly on the model value, it's one. If it's below, 
Uh, so if Bitcoin price is below the model value, uh, like it is right now, the uh, it, it's be, the error is below one. It's like a third or uh, fifty percent of the model value. That, that's how you read this. And what you can see uh, regarding the autocorrelation is that once the, mod, the the price is above the model, or here, then the chances that the next month are also above the model are very high. So there's a correlation between in time between uh, the errors and the same if it's below the model value then the next month and the next month will probably also will be below, uh, below the the model value that of course has everything to do with the fact that it's all about the halvings and there is only three halvings when i made the model right here there was only two halvings so it's yeah, it really has to do with that. So um, at the time, I proposed a model that was based on yearly data instead of monthly data. And that model, that yearly model, came up with a slightly different value of 100K. And that's where the 100K model came from. The original model, so this one, is 55K. To make that point even more extremely, at the time, I suggested a... Um, stock to flow cross asset model so looking at not the his historical price and historical halvings of bitcoin but other assets like gold and silver and if we only look at gold and silver and, and estimate and the stock to flow the scarcity of those two assets and estimate the bitcoin um, value market value with that with only gold and silver then you would you would end up with a uh, a value somewhere around 288k that was the value at the time so it can be a bit confusing to have three numbers out there the 55k from the original model the 100k from the yearly model and the 288k from the stock to flow cross asset model based on gold and silver but now you know where it came from and um and why why it was made by the way i still think that the stock to flow cross asset model based on gold and silver is fundamentally the most valuable model uh, and and uh, of course at the moment the original stock to flow model based on monthly uh, data um, predicting a 55k bitcoin at the moment is 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 the most accurate anyway the key thing is scarcity will double every halving. Will that impact price? I think the answer is yes. And the other key thing is if Bitcoin scarcity will be two times the scarcity of gold, which it will be, should Bitcoin market cap then be greater in gold? I think the answer is also yes. And by the way, the gold market cap is 10 trillion, which is 20 times the Bitcoin market cap at the moment. Anyway. For now, we see the uh, Bitcoin price reverting to the stock to flow model value. And note, by the way, that every time before the halving, so when, when it gets blue, and then at the halving it switches to red, of course, but when it gets blue, the price is at the model, pro at the model value, and the error is, is, is one. Here, blue, just before the 2016 halving, error is one and the same just before the 2020 halving when it's blue so if if that will be true um in the future in the 2024 halving we might end up with blue of course that that's a certainty but we might end up with a bitcoin price close to this uh stock to flow model value of uh well at the moment it's around 60k I might have to increase my prediction that I made earlier this year in, in January 12. I predicted that the halving would be at a price higher than 32k and note that 60k is higher than 32k but we'll see um, in the next month if I, um, I will up that prediction a little bit towards that 60k mark. Next chart, Bitcoin strength, the RSI. It's a classical technical analysis chart. 
but I like it very much. And this chart, it's an index between 0 and 100, but it shows very well in a very simple way that Bitcoin is regaining strength. Um, and this RSI index between 0 and 100, if it is above 50, that indicates an uptrend. Below 50 indicates a downtrend. So starting this month, it's in an uptrend. And that trend is something, well, to be wary of, because a, a trend is, is momentum that isn't stopped, uh, yeah, uh, lightly. It, 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 the momentum is a force that, that is like psychology or news or an economic, macroeconomic force. Momentum is something that uh, continues. So, and that's what you see historically. If Bitcoin enters the uh, 50 plus RSI area, and here it, it goes on, it, the trend goes on and a next bull market starts. And that's why I put this chart here. For more Daily Dose crypto news, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.